Okay, guys. So, um, we're going to go ahead and start off. We're going to do Star Wars coding today. So, the goal of this lesson is to use Star Wars coding in order to create a very cool project using block coding. Now, first and second graders, you might experience this a little bit whenever you were um, this fall, because we kind of use code.org as well. But now is a chance for us all to dive deeper, have some fun, and all use block coding. So when you come to this link that I attached to the very bottom of this video, you will see this come up right here. So this is a video. You will see a lot of videos in these lessons, and it's very important that you watch these videos because these videos will explain to you how to use the block coding, what is going to be expected of you as you're going on. So let's go ahead and go. For the purpose of my video, I'm going to go ahead and close it because I'm just doing a very quick walkthrough. All right. So it's telling us that we need to get BB-8 from here into there to use the, um, to get the scrap metal. So you can see move right one. Well, if I just click it one time, it's not really gonna work. So you see, he's just stuck there. He's not getting the scrap metal. But in order for us to reset it, you can always click reset if you think your code is messed up. So I'm gonna click reset and my BB-8 is back at the very beginning because I messed up on the code. I didn't get him there. So I'm going to go ahead and click right because if we count, he needs to move right one, two times. So we got it. Awesome. I'm just going to show you one more activity to kind of go over it. So here, like I just said, we need to count our blocks and make sure he's moving in the right direction. So I'm going to count it here. I'm going to do one, two. He's going to move over two. Clicking there. All right. This one says move down. Uh, we need to get him to move down in this direction. It's going to be one, two. So I'm going to move down two. All right, and let's see. I think that should be it. All right. So like I said, I'm going to kind of skip around because I'm going to show you. I'm going to leave the other ones up to you. I'm going to jump to seven because seven, it changes up a little bit. So as you can see, another video pops up. It's going to talk to you about this next section. But like I said, for the purpose of my video, I'm going to skip it. All right. So this one is called events. It's not, it's a little bit different than the run. So when this event happens, it's saying that when, when I press this button, which is an up arrow, when I press the up arrow, what direction do you think I want my droid to go? Do I want it to go down? No, you don't want it to go down. You want it to go up. So I'm going to move the block up right there. And this one says when the down arrow is pressed, you want to, you want the droid to move down. All right, so this one is a little bit different. So as you're going on from this lesson on, it will tell you directions of where you should put for the explicit directions. It'll tell you explicit directions on which blocks to put over there. But it's also a little different because it's not, BB-8 is not moving now. It's all up to us. We have to press these arrows if we want BB-8 to get to the pilots. And so we already got him up. Now we have to make him move down. So it changes up the game a little bit from when we first started. And so as you go on, you're going to come up to some puzzles like this and everything else. Um, like I said, that's about it for my little video. I hope you have a great time using uh, this block coding. It's a little bit fun. Um, next week, we'll explore some Minecraft coding. We'll do some dance parties. It's going to be awesome. So hope you have a great week. Thank you for coding with me.